this is Raul of Please Act Right. Are people really intimidated by her? Are they just not wanting to be bothered with her? Or are they just letting her get away with it so she thinks she's intimidating? Check it out. Um, but I like the fact that I have this personality because I know how to stand my ground when necessary. Does it and sub you well? It does, absolutely. Because people who truly care about me and understand me know that I'm just standing up for myself and I know how to speak and articulate myself properly. People, on the other hand, get quickly intimidated by that because they don't have the same ability to speak for themselves the way that I do. I, do you know, I would say I don't think it's intimidation. I would say it is acknowledgement of the fact that they're not willing to engage with aggressive behavior. And so a lot of the time... So that is intimidation. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's not. It's actually it's a wise decision. It's actually wise, yeah, it's actually a wise uh, decision. So it's like if somebody keeps bringing aggressive behavior to, to me as a man, I would say, I have to make a decision as to whether or not I am going to deal with that. And I'll be like, you know what? Nine times out of ten, yep. especially if it comes from a woman, yep. I ain't willing to deal with it. Yep. But here's but the thing. You, but is but that the thing I'm... is, on your side, you may see that as me being intimidated by yeah. you. Yeah. I'm just saying, listen, I hear you're aggressive and I can see you're aggressive, but you know what? Yeah. Go give that to yeah, someone there else. Yeah, is, there is an issue. I, I ain't got time for there it. There is an issue. So here's my interpretation of what she's really saying. Um, but I like the fact that I have this personality. I like the fact that I can speak any way I want to and people let me have my way. Because I know how to stand my ground when necessary. Does standing her ground when necessary mean when someone's trying to take advantage of her? Or standing her ground whenever she wants her way? Does it and serve you well? It does, absolutely. Of course it's serving her well because she's getting away. However, it's gonna bite her in the butt in the long run because this is a bad trait in any adult. Especially a woman if she ever wants to be in a meaningful relationship or marriage. Because people who truly care about me and understand me know that I'm just standing up for myself and I know how to speak and articulate myself properly. The interpretation of that in most cases is that people who know her and care about her are basically just saying, that's just the way she is, you know how she is, she ain't gonna change. So they put up with her ways. People, on the other hand, get quickly intimidated by that because they don't have the same ability to speak for themselves the way that I do. I, you know, See, the people that know her, they put up with her nonsense. But the people that don't know her, she thinks they're intimidated by her. Nope. People that don't know her are not going to put up with her aggressive ways. So they just walk away from her to keep the fight from breaking out. No, I would say I don't think it's intimidation. I would say it is acknowledgement of the fact that they're not willing to engage with aggressive behavior. And so a lot of the time... So that is intimidation. See, she thinks a person walking away instantly means that they're intimidated by her. People who know you will have patience with you. People who don't, won't. No, no, no. no. It's not. It's actually it's smart. A wise it's actually wise. Yeah, it's actually a wise uh, decision. So it's like if somebody keeps bringing aggressive behavior to, to me, as a man, I would say, I have to make a decision as to whether or not I am going to deal with that. And I'll be like, you know what, nine times out of ten. Yep. Watch her body language right here. She's not listening to understand. She's just looking for an opportunity to jump in and try to justify her aggressive behavior. Especially if it comes from a woman. Yeah. I ain't willing to deal with it. Yep. But here's but the thing. You, but, is but that the thing I'm... is, on your side, you might see that as me being intimidated by yeah. you. Yeah. I'm just saying, listen, I hear you're aggressive and I can see you're aggressive, but you know what? Yeah. Go give that to yeah, someone there else. Is, there is an issue. I, but I ain't got time for there it. There is an issue. Now, I didn't stop the video. That's where they stopped it. She said, but, two times before the video ended. Yep. But here's but the thing. You, but, but, I ain't got time for And I'm sure, more than likely, she came up with some nonsense to justify herself. When a man doesn't respond to a woman's aggressive attitude and just walks away, this type of female, she sees us as weak. The reality is, we're not weak. We just don't want to be bothered with you. Definition of intimidate. Frighten or overawe someone, especially in order to make them do what one wants. Fellas, this is the type of woman you stay away from. The minute you hear her say people are intimidated by her, that's a serious red flag. Why would anybody want anyone to be intimidated by them and tell you that a person is intimidated by them? Ladies, men are not intimidated by you. They just don't want to be bothered with you if you don't know how to speak to us in a proper manner. A proper manner would be defined as the same way you expect us to speak to you. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of guys out there who have dealt with a woman with an aggressive attitude because I dealt with them on the regular in my past. Quick and true story. I was a delivery driver for UPS here in Chicago, and of course you know it gets cold in Chicago. 
it was one time and I had delivered to like 60 houses in a row. I mean, just running nonstop in and out the truck, up the stairs, down the stairs, back to the truck. Well, I had on a jacket for a while, but I started getting hot, so I had to take that damn jacket off. Now keep in mind, it's winter time, but I'm dressed for the occasion. I had on a t-shirt, a thermal top, then I had on my turtleneck and then my UPS shirt, along with some tights underneath my pants and my winter pants. So I realized that I was running low on gas, so I had to go to the gas station. So I pull into the gas station and I go inside. And I'm burning up. I'm grabbing my turtleneck like this, trying to get some air to go down in there to keep my skin from getting wet, right? I need to cool down. I go inside and this young black woman, who is the cashier, I can't use my credit card at the pump like we do in our cars with your credit card. The UPS credit card, you gotta go inside. So I give it to her. She looks at me and she goes, aren't you cold? I said, no, I'm fine, thank you. She was like, shouldn't you have a coat on though? I said, no, I'm good. She swiped my card, I gave it a pin number, and because she left it alone, I said, listen, I just delivered the 60 houses in a row. I'm burning the hell up, I'm starting to sweat. She went, oh, okay, well you keep warm. See, that's how you talk to somebody, especially when you're in that business. I go out to put gas in the truck. So I got the nozzle in, I got my back to the truck, and I'm leaning against it, and I'm, I'm still, I'm grabbing my, and I'm pulling on my turtleneck, doing like this, trying to get some air to go down in there, because I need to cool down. Up pulls the car, woman gets out of the car, she looks at me without my coat on, and what does she do? Where is your coat? It's too cold out here for you to be out here without a coat on. Now I'm standing there and I'm looking at this woman like, I ain't saying it, but I'm like, who the hell she thinks she talking to? Like that. I know you hear me talking to you. Why are you out here without a coat? It's too cold out here for you to be out here without your coat on. Now, I was at work, so I can't say what I want to say, because this would have went a whole nother way. So instead, I chill. I just sat there, leaning against the truck, just looking at her. Now one would think that she would shut the hell up. No, she kept going. And keep in mind, she pulled up to a pump. She's supposed to be pumping gas in her car. She's standing there. I want to know why you out here without your coat on. You need to have a coat on. Like, I got to answer her. Now, the reason she's doing this is because she thinks that people are intimidated by her. She probably does it with her kids. She probably does it with her husband, if she's still married. She probably did it with her exes. So I just stood there the whole time and never said a word. I was chanting to myself, don't get fired. Don't get fired. Don't get fired. Because if I had been in my own car, woo! I would have let her have it. And those of y'all who have been watching my videos, you know I rarely curse. I'm the same way in my regular life. I don't curse that much. But when you in my business and you talking to me in that manner, three strikes and you out. Where's your coat? You need to have a coat on. I'm fine, thank you. But I mean, this is ridiculous. You out here without your coat on. I'm fine, thank you. And you keep on saying the same thing. You need to have your coat on. You know what? That's it. I've done it before. <laughs> now, I never want to go there, but these women tend to think that they're intimidating. And they talk to people like they think you owe them an explanation. Now, to be honest with you, this is going to sound weird, but I don't even really blame that woman for talking to me like that. I blame all the sorry excuses for men before me that she talked to like that, that let her get away with it. That's why she think it's okay to walk around doing it. And that's why a lot of women like the woman at the gas station and this chick right here think that people are intimidated by her because people let her get away with it. Now, let me pause for a second and give mad shout out to the young lady that was inside the gas station that was the cashier, because that's how you talk to somebody. You talk to them with love and kindness. You don't talk to them like you think you they mom. So fellas, if a woman speaks to you in a bossy way or she says that people are intimidated by her, you might want to head out the door. Ladies, if you're talking to men aggressively and they don't want to engage with you, they're not intimidated by you. They just don't want to be bothered with you. Hey, somebody has to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.